Hello, everybody. This is Kim McMahon from the FreeBSD Foundation, and I'm here with Tara today. And Tara is a FreeBSD user. So, Tara, why don't you do a short introduction of yourself to our listeners? Okay, so I'm, um, I am live between London and Milan, so this is most, the most strangest thing about me. I'm a distinguished architect, so I usually build... Uh, architectures for large data centers on virtualization and containerization. Um, unfortunately, on Linux, well, or luckily on Linux, uh, but things may change. Who knows? <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you. So um, I met you at a recent conference, and you were telling me very how excited you are and you that you are a free BSD user. So can you tell me a little more about how you found FreeBSD and why you started using it? So I crossed paths with FreeBSD many times during my life. Uh, even uh, one of my coworkers was a FreeBSD kernel user, uh, kernel developer. Uh, but actually a friend of mine, um, this uh, well, invited me to try out seriously FreeBSD because I was searching for a stable NAS solution uh, mm -hmm. for some kind of 100 terabyte uh, mm -hmm. for my personal home lab. And I wasn't satisfied with my current setup. So she said to me, why don't you try FreeBSD? And I actually give it a try. So that was my first really use case for FreeBSD. And then I was coming from Sun Microsystems. So ZFS was actually my something like back to my first love. <laughs> Awesome. So how are you using FreeBSD? So it's mainly for my home lab. So I'm researching okay. now. So it's uh, it's complicated because I'm I'm using it in different ways. So it could be on my laptop. I have 10 laptops and it's currently living on five of them. Uh, it's on, on my NAS, so my main uh, storage systems. And also I'm experimenting with new technologies. So for example, um, I am experimenting with pi building pipelines, uh, OCI containers with Podman, or my next experiment will be on uh, eVPNs with VXLANs and JLAN5. So to be able to kind of creating a small provider in my house and see if it's the things I'm doing now with Linux are feasible on FreeBSD for proposing to customers. Oh, excellent. I love it. I love it. Um, so why why are you using FreeBSD on some of your 10 laptops? You know, what do you like about it over other operating system options? So simplicity, first of all. I mm -hmm. like the neat approach of FreeBSD. So I immediately kind of fell in love with that. And as long as, as also I fell in love with ZF, uh, ZFS on boot. So it was something like, wow, this is amazing. Especially when you, for example, do an upgrade, it feels like, I know I'm an old lady now, but it feels like a mainframe where you have multiple instances of back of the old operating system and you mm -hmm. can roll back at any time. And that gives me the same feeling. And uh, yeah, I like more of the, the simplicity and uh, low of resources that used to, feels like the Linux at the beginning. Oh my gosh, I love that. Feels like the Linux from the beginning. That is, um, yeah, I love it. I love the whole simplicity. And I, I, I agree. It's just the code base and simple to use and um, kind of just what you need, uh, uh, you know, in an exactly. operating system. Yeah, yeah, one of my philosophy is the classical kiss, keep it simple and stupid or secure, depending on which environment you're in. <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah. I love and it. So, keep it simple and secure. We're gonna we're gonna tag yeah, that. <laughs> why why running um why running demons and everything that you don't need? Just stick with what you have. And FreeBSD is just perfect for my for that use case for me. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for talking to us about your free BSD use. And um, you know how to get a hold of me, but I, I hope, you know, love to hear as you come up with other ways that you're using it and other things that you love about it. So again, thank you so much. And we'll be talking. You're very welcome. And see you around. Okay.